Okay, we're near the start of uh, the Dix Range. Heading off for Route 73 toward uh, Grace Peak. And uh, yep, it's an unmarked trail. See some use, but not a whole lot. No trail signs or discs or anything out here. And the trail's actually not, not too bad. It's uh, easier to follow than I was thinking it was. Just came across the uh, rock cairn or the trail splits. It kind of follows this river instead of the one that goes to the right. I guess that could be confusing to some people. This right here, a little detour just to check out this swimming hole. Okay, this is a place to come back and camp up in here. There's a couple campsites along the way. It's really nice up in here. Peaceful, away from the crowd. So the trail follows this, uh, follows along this stream bed or in it sometimes. we come across another one of our little, uh, Rock cairn somebody set up. Helps us to know we're still on the right track. And sometimes the trail is pretty faint. You gotta pay attention. Other times it's kind of like this and fairly obvious. These little stream crossings here. There's a there's my contribution. My little rock cairn I made to help anybody else that, that might be coming along. Ooh, a little blow down in this section of the trail. But, uh, stop for a few seconds. Check it out. Yeah, on the right track. I know what to look for and be all right. Doesn't look like much of a trail, but it's here. Okay, coming up here, we're getting close. trail goes this way or there's a slide here we're going to investigate for a minute and think about which way I want to go here this here is the trail this goes up here that's the slide there um, let's investigate this for a minute because it looks interesting. Let's see if this is indeed uh, the slide that I was looking for or if that's further up the trail. It is a slide that's good because it's dry. And we'll continue up this way and see how it goes. I 
here's a slide we came up. It goes way down there. Comes up here. It kind of ends at this stream. There's a faint path here that goes off into the woods. And should join up with the other path or near the summit. Whichever one it is, soon find out. So I did uh, meet back up with the trail. That wasn't too much of a problem, but uh, see the trail keeps going up this way, but then uh, the side trail is right next to the rest of the slides. So I'm thinking I cut out on the slide a little early. Either that or maybe I joined up with the slide too early. I've just grown in over the years and Comes up from that way. We'll be heading up there in a little while. But right now we're gonna finish going up the slide here and uh the sun's kind of right in our video, but the rocks up there, that's our summit. And that's where we're headed. So I think we'll finish taking the slide up because I kind of like it. It's different. Getting there. Making my way up the slide here. First real slide climb I've done. Pretty cool. Great views from on a slide too. So that should be the top of a Grace Peak right there. Yeah. Over here around here is the valley we hiked up through. Nah, it should be a Huff Mountain there I believe. And off in the distance there, the Beckhorn and Dix Mountain, which is where we'll head in a little while. But we got a couple between this one and those, so keep working up this slide here. Apparently off the slide right here. Found this little herd path here. I wonder if it's not a herd path, it's my path no matter what now. But this appears to be the way to go. We're still going up, so gotta be doing something right. Some pretty good views here. I think way back in the distance is Macomb. Maybe. Find out in a few minutes. a slide. Ah, that was fun. I fall down there. The ways down there. I 
It's three hours and 33 minutes up here. Trying for nine, but hoping for before 10 o'clock, so. And so the real goal here is to uh, get these five peaks. Be back here again, so I hit that lookout another time. Ah, nice flat, soft ground to walk on. It's a good little break from climbing up that slide. <clears throat> It's fun, but a bit of work. Right here to end of the herd path and up at the summit. How you doing? Beautiful here, yeah, yeah, it's great. <coughs> hey, can I get you to take a picture for me? Sure. All right, he's standing on top of Grace Peak here. Formerly East Dix, but they changed the name several years ago. Nice views, the uh, South Dicks over there. Comb back there. We'll go over those two and come back. Go over a little bump there. Then go up Puff Peak there. And down and up Dicks Mountain way over there. It should be South Dick Summit right here. There's no sign or any view, so since sticking around here too long, or maybe uh, right up here is the summit. It's hard to tell when there's no uh, sign or no views, and I don't feel like pulling out the map for the exact coordinates because. No matter what, we're going to be on the summit because we have to cross over it for our little trek here. Or maybe this is our summit. Still no sign, no views, but... I remember these cliffs from the last time I was here. <clears throat> Four, five, six years ago, but I remember this. I remember eating lunch here. Okay, back there was not the summit. Summit is up there. Then we'll go down into the call and then up to Macomb. This doesn't seem that far away now. So let's get to the real summit instead of all these little fake summits back there. Okay, here we are, the real summit of South Dick Mountain. And still no views. So being the real summit once and for all. Over right there, we'll keep moving. Okay, these are the uh, little kind of cliffs right outside the summit of South Dix. 
mountain. Take a little break here for a minute. 1040. Now head up there to Macomb Mountain. Not too bad, still a great day. Getting a little cloudy, but I think we'll be fine for, for our trip here. Alright, just coming down from there. Kind of steep and rocky there. I'll we'll keep going down all the way down into the woods and the trail. Go from there. Up there, and then I'll decide which way I want to come back up to get the Huff Peak. Here we are, 1120. <clears throat> Top of mountain number three. Macomb Mountain. nice about this one is a nice little cliffs here nice little lookout looking over Elk Lake uh. <clears throat> okay done with Macomb head back up <clears throat> South Dix Mountain that's where we have to catch the trail junction over to Unfortunately, we basically have to climb this one again. <clears throat> okay, back up on the uh, South Dix right now. We're about to head down this trail. Under a little call right there. Over a couple of little bumps. This one right here is off. Uh, it's 12.07 right now. Uh, I think we should be there by 1 o'clock. See how close I am. Okay, here we are getting close to the <clears throat> summit of Huff Mountain. Here we got a little. Uh, Rock scramble here. I'm going to do this one handed so. We can get our video. South Dix over there. A comb. A good view of the uh, slide up Grace Peak. <clears throat> Looks a lot deeper from here. <laughs> 52 Huff Mountain. A little sign. <clears throat> Some great views back over to Macomb. South Dix. She looks kind of small. Down to the valley. Across the Dix Mountain where we'll be going next. Oops, 
Looks like a nice little stretch of trail. I'm down in the call between Hoff and Dix Mountain. Nice and pretty easy terrain right here. A little break from the steep ups and downs. I just came down about 400 feet from Huff and soon we'll be going up Dick's Mountain here. We're a little lookout part way up. Pretty cool little spot. Steep little spot too. And you see we're almost as high as a uh, Huff Mountain there. Well, we keep going. Well, we need, now reached what's called the Beckhorn, which is a little prominence right off the summit of Dix Mountain. Where we can see Giant Mountain. See uh, <clears throat> Grace Peak, Huff, South Dix, Macomb over there. All those we climbed this morning. Including that awesome slide. This is the top of the back corner. Right over there is a, the actual summit of Dix Mountain. We'll climb up there in just a minute. <laughs> ah, a little breeze up here feels great. Okay, coming up on the actual summit of Dix Mountain. It's our last summit of the day, and then time to head on out. Pretty impressive view of a nipple top right there. All right, time for a little break. Something to eat, something to drink. I'm going to head way down there in the valley. Back to the car. And we're going to finish over to the top of the summit here and start heading down the other way. The hard part's over. Like a six mile walk down and out through the woods. Alright, coming down the thick trail. Ooh, I think we're past the worst of it. Very steep and rocky for a while to be able to get let out. There's a slide here.
getting close to the road at the trail junction it goes down to the Osable Club or up the noon mark and the other way down to the road according to this sign we have 2.3 miles to go kind of a bummer I thought it'd be a little bit shorter Well, we'll keep going. Not doing too bad. Once this trail through the woods just kind of a easy walking trail after I got off the mount, main part of the mountain. We're passing by a round pond now. That's a good sign. <coughs> Maybe we only got about a half a mile to the road. Nice little pond here. Beaver swimming around out there. All right, I finished up the point to point in 12 hours. But I got two mile walk back to the car. All right, it takes 35, 12 and a half hours for the whole loop. According to my Fitbit, it's uh, 21.79 miles. Uh, I got it at about 20. So, great day, great hike.